Hi, I'm Ben Calhoun with Citizen Way, and today we're going to explore Acts chapter 10. One of the more significant aspects of this chapter is that it's a fulfillment of Acts chapter 1, verse 8, where Jesus says to his disciples, You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Going back to chapter 10, it talks about a man named Cornelius who receives a vision from the Lord to call on a man named Simon Peter. Peter then receives a vision from the Lord saying, here's a bunch of animals on a sheet that you can eat. Take it, eat it. Now before this, it's usually unclean to eat some animals and others are not. And Peter's never broken this rule. So the Lord had to give him this vision three times, which is significant in Peter's life so that he could understand that I'm establishing something new. I'm going to do a complete 180 from how you've done it to now. Because essentially, Peter was the first missionary. So Peter goes to Cornelius' house and preaches the gospel in a new way. Not just to the Jew, but now to the Gentile. Because in that vision, the Lord is essentially saying, everyone is now welcome. You can come into a right relationship with Jesus. All are welcome. Samaritans, Jews, Gentiles, to the ends of the earth. Now why that's significant is because Rome was the biggest, largest, most expansive empire in the known world. And Cornelius was a Roman centurion. He was part of that. He was a God-fearing man. This essentially fulfills Acts 1-8 because now we get to go into all the earth, the known earth at that time, when Jesus said, you will go to the, all the ends of the earth. That was Rome. It had a foot place in almost every part of uh, the known world. And that is why it's significant to help understand that God had a bigger plan. And this was the start of it. A complete 180 that he's calling all of us to do, to drop everything that we've known and follow him.